Video tutorial for installing and using Newsteo Tracker. Tracker functioning. The tracker records in its memory events that occur during transportation. At the frequency set by the user, 30 minutes for instance, it records temperature, humidity, brightness, inclination, and GPS location according to the tracker's reference. It also monitors acceleration continuously. As soon as a shock occurs or the tracker suddenly switches from dark to light, the event is recorded. All recorded measurements are time-stamped. When the parcel arrives, measurements are downloaded to the PC. They are then immediately available in a PDF report, a CSV file and in the RF monitor database software. The tracker kit consists of the following, the relevant Newsteo tracker, the radio receiver RF to USB key and its antenna, the software delivered on a USB stick, an installation guide, a magnet for product launch and a USB extension cable. If you have purchased a TRP55, you will have one RF to USB gold key and three batteries to install yourself with provided tool. Please start by installing the software. Insert the supplied USB stick into the PC USB port. Be careful not to connect the radio receiver until the installer prompts you to do so and follow the on-screen instructions. For step-by-step -step help, you can check the dedicated Logger's installation video. The RF monitor software is now set up and launched. The key you have connected is displayed on the key settings tab. If batteries are not in the tracker, please insert them. To activate the device, slowly swipe the magnet on the logo magnet area. The tracker starts immediately and appears on the screen. At this moment, the product is in live mode. It sends its measurements in real time but does not save them. This mode allows you to verify that the product is properly operating and then set it before launching a recording campaign. Right click on the product line and select display measurement curves. The acceleration display panel will open. Shake the product to make curves variation appear on screen. Click on periodic values tab. Three panels will display temperature, humidity and luminosity, depending on the concerned tracker. In this case, the TRE37 does not have the brightness sensor. That's why the luminosity panel is replaced by the battery level in this example. By blowing right on the temperature or humidity sensor, you can make the curves vary. Now click on Charts tab and drop slowly the product vertically. The free fall height is displayed. In the meantime, RF monitor also calculates the impact energy based on the measured acceleration and the impact duration. We have now checked that the product is functional. Before starting a recording campaign, we are going to set up the system. Click on the Setup button and select Setup. We advise you not to set a frequency faster than 30 minutes to avoid saturating the tracker's memory or to drain batteries too quickly. Click on Set Time if need be and go to the Threshold tab. You can then set the thresholds for temperature, humidity and luminosity beyond which the measurements are considered as alerts. In the report, they will be mentioned as such. You can also set the amplitude of the acceleration. Thus, all shocks above the indicated threshold will be recorded. Then click on Send to update the tracker. The tracker is now ready. Right-click on the product line and click on Start Recording. As soon as the clone mode current state indicates record, it means that the record campaign has started. The campaign is therefore launched. You can close the RF monitor software. 
it is also possible to activate your tracker remotely from your computer. To do so, take the magnet provided in the kit and follow this process. Slowly swipe the magnet on the logo magnet. The LED lights red. While the LED is still red, swipe the magnet a second time slowly. The LED lights orange. Finally, while the LED is still orange, swipe the magnet one last time. It lights up green. If the LED blinks three times green, the product has been correctly started and has launched recording. Let your tracker record for dozens of minutes in order to have measurements in memory. Then you can connect the RF to USB key and relaunch the RF monitor software. Your record campaign is now complete. Right click on the product line and choose Stop Recording. Then click on Download Data. We advise you to erase the measurements when they have been downloaded. The measurements are now present on your PC and available in three formats. A complete PDF file containing all measurements and also graphs. A CSV file which can be opened with Excel and finally the DB Monitor database. Thanks to filters, you will be able to analyze your measurements in more detail. At the end of the download, click the open button of the file you are interested in. In this video, we are going to see the PDF report details. The PDF report is divided into several parts. Table of contents, information on the tracker, start and end date of recording and finally total number of measurements. It is then followed by a summary that shows minimum, maximum and average of each studied value. On the following page, you will access to a quick listing of alerts, which are measurements that are outside the set thresholds. The alert values are in bold. The following pages provide graphs for each sensor. Temperature, humidity, luminosity, acceleration on all three axes, inclination and so on, depending on the tracker concerned. The next pages group together all the measurements taken chronologically. The advantage of this report is that it can be easily and quickly forwarded to any other person. Let's continue with CSV report. It can be opened for example with Excel, with which you can create your own graphs. The CSV file contains all of the tracker's measurements such as date, temperature, humidity, luminosity and finally tilt and shock. All measurements are listed within a single file. Last but not least, all measurements are available in the DB Monitor database associated with the RF Monitor software. You can access the measurements at any time by going to the database menu. The entire measurements can be found in a table. Clones are the ID, which is the record number of the measurement, the date and time when the measurement have been downloaded on the PC, the product serial number, the ID and description of the tracker user, uh, i.e. these fields are defined by the user and can be modified with RF monitor software. The product time and date, the time and date when the product recorded the measurement, which is the reference time, the sensor, its value and its unit, the type of alert which indicate whether the value is outside or within the set thresholds. And finally, the type of packet. It indicates whether the measurement was recorded in live mode or in recording mode. Thanks to the filters, it is easy to adjust the displayed values. For example, you can check only the temperature value in the sensor filters and then, by clicking on refresh, readings displayed are only temperature measurements. By clicking on the graph tab, measurements are displayed as a curve. When passing over a point on the curve, the detail of that point is displayed. The value and date of the measurement are indicated, along with minimum, maximum, average and standard deviation of the entire curve. To zoom in on a specific area, draw a square by holding down the left mouse button. To zoom out, click on the corresponding button. 
it is also possible to modify the filters from the graphic page. If you have a new SEO tracker TRP55, you will benefit from GPS localization function, which can be used via Google Maps. With your RF Monitor Gold package, you can connect to the Web Monitor database and view the geolocation of your TRP. To access it, log in via the link displayed in the tracker user guide, then select the time period and load the data by clicking on Update. We hope that this video has enabled you to understand the operation of the new store tracker as well as the exploitation of its measurements.